hello very distinguished ladies and gentlemen you're all welcome to our installation right here in Asheshe Ogun State as you can see we are right here we are doing about 10 kVA installation with um, 555 watt solar panel about 10 units of them and this is gonna power this beautiful um, office building so right here we have about um, we have a solar the Jinko um, so if you look at this, this is about 5 55 watts solar panel is a tier one panel the efficiency is very very high and very very durable this panel can go for as far as 30 to 35 years of usage and it comes with about five to ten years of warranty and then the panels are actually going to be mounted on the roof and it's expected that they should be generating um circa 5500 watt peak power basically thank you and stay tuned. have completed this installation a 10 kva installation let me walk you through what the installation looks like come on right here we have a 10 kva inverter system and it's being powered up by two units of 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery this is our battery bank one and this is our battery bank two yeah each of them is 10 kilowatt hour and right here, these two battery banks are being managed by these two units. This is a bus bar, and then this is a uh, battery breaker, you know, to manage the two batteries. And right here, we have a breaker box. Right here, we have a solar MPPT charge controller. And then right here, we have a changeover. Right here for the changeover, this changeover is a rotary changeover, and it's very, very efficient. Um, and it, it's, it's wired to manage the power distribution. In one, we have grid and generator supply, and then for two, we have inverter supply. So we have placed it in two so that whenever NEPA takes light, automatically the, the inverter will kick in and supply the house with consistent power, right? And then right here, we have the uh, solar charge controller. This is the 120 amp solar charge controller to manage the solar panels that we have on the roof and as you can see it's actually charging right it's blinking and it's charging and it's producing a, a lot of power from the solar panel charging these two batteries right here the battery ba bank you can actually see over at 94 percent and we have at 94 percent so both of them are showing the same percentage of battery because both of them have been synchronized and configured to work as one battery bank so they will charge together and they will dispense together that's what you can see right here both of them are showing the same percentage you can come closer and see the battery percentage so this is 94 and right here you can also see 94 so both of them are charging at the same pace because the charge controller has been wired with the installation has been done in such a way to charge the batteries at the same time you know equally and working with the inverter and then right here we have of course the inverter is what does the conversion for us from direct current to alternating current as you all know the energy or the power coming from the solar panels and the energy being stored in the batteries are all direct current 
So the inverter will automatically take that direct current, you know, energy and convert it to alternating current which the house or we use in our homes and our, and our offices. So that's what the inverter helps us to do and to also manage um, the setup. And then right here, we have some protect protective devices to actually help us manage this setup so that in case of eventuality or lightning or thunder or over voltage or low voltage or current you know these guys will help us take care of that so right here we have a detail in detail the first we have the surge protector for our ac line which manages our inputs and then over here we have avr and this avr if you watch this is our input breaker if we switch on our input breaker the avr comes into action right so the input breaker is here to manage nepa charging um from charging our inverter right and then the second one is avr that manages our output line and of course after the uh, output breaker we also have an energy meter this energy meter has been put here to help us to calculate the amount of energy that this inverter is dis dispensing to this house and then after here we have a dc breaker and a surge protector to manage our solar line so this is what manages our solar panels from charging and up there on the roof we have a lot of solar panels we have about 10 units of 555 watts jinko solar panel up there and it's been um, connected to actually charge this setup so this inverter setup you know has been done in such a way that it is powering the whole of this building you know and then in this building is powering about three acs powering all the lighting points powering all the sockets powering all the fridge uh, in the offices and also powering the outdoor lightning basically so that's what is being connected to the house and as you can see it's a decent um, setup and it has been installed neatly to be able to give you that level of aesthetics comfort and efficiency that you require to ensure that you have consistent power in your homes and your offices this is rockview energy energy for africa from inverters to automation, we've got it all. Rockfield C to answer the